in 2015, representatives from the uh, BC music industry came to government and they said, you know, we need to have a conversation about the role the creative industry plays in this province. And they had some pretty important suggestions for us. It was a very compelling argument to recognize the creative sector, to support artists in ways that that had not happened previously. So we actually, we listened. It has a huge impact because we've set uh, in motion already a number of programs that will get the industry working again and we've seen that through the sound recording program and this what this program will take artists to that next level where they will now be able to once they've recorded their music created their art now they'll be able to market it and sell it to the world and let the world know about their music this is great program I think that the BC Music Fund is actually like the single most impactful piece of policy that I have ever experienced in my life as a professional musician in BC. It is amazing. Like everyone is stoked. I was just talking with um, with Laura from Roca Code earlier, and uh, and just sort of you know the 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 feeling of looking. At, at another musician and being like, there's actually money to support what we're doing for once. It feels amazing to have that kind of support behind us. Well, one of the reasons that British Columbia is doing so well economically across the country is the diversity of our economy. And certainly the creative sector has an enormous role to play. So we're very delighted today to be uh, making in another announcement out of the BC Music Fund. $1.5 million to support artists uh, in terms of marketing the amazing products and the, uh, the talent we have here in the province. So another great news story, the creative economy is certainly alive and well in British Columbia. Thank you.